Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Did you have a good week? Good. Last week? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's how my yeah. week was. Crazy. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So. <laughs> Lots going on. Getting close to Valentine's Day. Mm. So we'll it do is. Valentine's Gnomes today. Why don't you introduce yourself, oh, yeah. Tracy? Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> I will do that. So, yeah, I am uh, Tracy Abbey from the Cat's Whiskers Mobile Art Studio. And I am a mobile art studio here in the Lodi, California area, Northern California. So I come to you. I bring everything that you need to have a fun time, spend two hours with me and create something magical. And um, yeah, and then I clean up and everything's done and you are left with your masterpiece. I also do online um, events, so um, corporate, um, family, people all over the world. If you've got friends and family all over the world and we get together on like a live Zoom or in a private Facebook group and we can paint together and create as well. So that's what I do. And I have a, a little woohoo membership. Um, so if you're into the witchy and woohoo, then come on over and check it out at the Cat's Whiskers Mobile Art Studio. Good job. And hello, Brenda. Thank you for joining us today. And yes, it's afternoon still for us. It's only um, one o'clock over at Tracy's area mm -hmm. and two o'clock here, but I know it's evening in your house. So um, thank you for joining us. I am Tracy with Mel Grace Arts, and my goal is to bring joy to people through stenciling, painting, and crafting. Um, I do have a stencil group that is right now closed, but it will open sometime in June for members. Um, other than that, I'm just, I work a day job and then I paint on the weekends <laughs> and evening. So it's a little busy over here, but we are keep going. Yep. And then yep. I do have a kids um, canvas painting. It's called Canvas Kids. Um, it's a monthly membership that you can get and you get a starter kit with paintbrushes and stuff. And then you get a monthly um, design every month for your kiddos. Um, and then I do offer a discount if you have more than one kid in the family. Because um, I know it gets a little expensive when it's um, more than two or three kids that gets crazy. So that is what we do and today we're going to do these gnomes and i'm going to be painting it on a little tiny square wood block thing it's like got a little hanger on it i think That's i so got cute. these i can't remember where i got these they weren't very expensive or they were, i want to say maybe target um yeah Oh, yeah, know. the Target I, bin area where they have the... Yeah, uh, I don't I remember. I've, I've had like them for there. a while. Yeah, I've had them for a yeah. while. So, I'm sure. so I'm going to paint my little gnomes on that. I already traced them. So I'm not going to do a background today on mine. And then I'm going to show you a couple different ways to um, either dress yourself. Um, I'm glad you're loving the gnomes, Brenda. Um Mine's I, on a I'm going to show Mine's you different ways well. to dress it up either as a gift. Yeah, are you doing an 8 by, what are you doing, 11 by 14 or an uh, 8 11 by, by 14, yeah. 11 by 14. So while she continues to paint, and we'll watch her paint um, on her side, I will be showing you how to craft up these gnomes into different things, whether it be um, a postcard. This is just a blank postcard um, oh, that you can paint on. Um, oh, so I'm sorry, do that. or cut this down into like a little gift tag and you can put the gnomes on that. So we'll show Cute. you that. And then I was going to cut this out and do something with it too, but I don't know if we'll get to that point. So, um, awesome. but I just want to show some little <laughs> ideas of different crafting things you can do with the gnomes. And I guess we should get started, huh? Absolutely. Um, 
All right. So yeah. I'm going to If you're coming on, make some... sure that you let us know um, who it is and where you're watching from because we want to say hi. And yeah. we're very inquisitive souls. We want to know how you found us. So let us know. Did you just come across us magically through the web? Are you watching from YouTube? Um, did you come across us from the Cat's Whiskers or Mountain Grace Arts or somewhere else in magical internet land? Yeah. <laughs> Magical internet know. land. That's right. Crazy internet land is more like yeah. it. <laughs> it is. It is crazy internet land. I you never know what's going on. It's like the rules always change. Stuff's always different. I'm like, yeah, crazy yeah. internet land. Ooh. Yeah, it's crazy. What on earth? Hello, Rosie. Thank you for joining us. Um, we are gonna paint the gnomes today. All right, so I'm going to swap Tracy's camera because she's going to point down. So we'll get her yep. switched I'll see around. You a bit. <laughs> uh, let me grab her. There we go. Now we can see and hear her again. Um, and then I'm going to point my camera downwards. And I'm sorry for the um, probably ah, weird ah. spinning around. So, bear with me. <laughs> All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. There. All right. Hold on. Bear with me. <laughs> bear with Hold me. On. Hold on. Okay, gotta get it everything tightened up so you don't collapse on me. Ah, shoot, my things is going everywhere already. Already, I warned my dog because she's sleeping on my lap that she might not come out unscathed, she might end up with paint on her. She didn't seem to be too perturbed about that idea, but like it was no idle threat. <laughs> That's funny. I just sprayed paint all over my arm. So, and she's not far from where it splattered. She just thought I was joking. I, I'm sure. Let's see how you are doing here. I think you can see it now. Yeah. Let, uh, let everything catch up here. That's a good spot. All right, so for the gnomes, the background of that big one that I did, um, this one, I did this in like teal and a light blue and some white and I just um, did, I taped off the edges and as you can see my tape decided to stick to, I was just doing it in my mixed media pad. So I paletted these in but I taped off to make that perfect square um which is fine that it did this because I'm gonna just cut it out and probably mod podge it onto something um and we'll see what time we have if we can do that today or not but um and as far as the colors go this is like a little periwinkle color and this is purple but you can do your gnomes whatever your favorite colors are Tracy looks like she's doing a brown background yeah, I'm doing like a wood fence in the background because mine are oh, garden gnomes. I love that. And they're idea. hiding in the garden with their yeah, mischief I in the Yeah, I love that idea. idea. Love, love that idea. They're doing some some garden magic. See? Yeah. That's an awesome idea. Part of the fae. So this um painting is super simple i don't really have to instruct tracy how to paint this it's it's pretty straightforward and just use your imagination i mean gnomes are full of magic and imagination so we might as well use it when we're painting right um i am gonna dress this um piece that i already finished up a little bit while we're um before we get started to paint on the wood because 
if I cut this out, I want it to kind of pop. So I'm going to make it glittery a little bit. And I'm going to use the glitter Riffix. Um, I'm going to use the clear. And then I'm going to also use this. Um, I don't know what this is. It's like black with opals. So we're going to see what this turns out to be like. Hopefully I like the black with opals, but I haven't used that one yet. So I'm going to do that one with purple hat first just to see how it turns out. And then we'll go over to the other. But I'm just going to do a little bit on their hats and pop those. And then maybe do some clear on the hearts in their hats. So we'll see here how we do. So, Tracy, what have yeah. you been up to this last week? What have you been doing? Well, um, we had our first ever um, of many um, of my new um, witchy woohoo group called the Woohoo Archil Sisterhood. So um, it's a collaboration of woohoo artists and um, we get together every Thursday to paint live um, free on the internet to spend to spend some time with people help them heal through art and find a little bit of magic in the mundane and so we had our very first of those sessions and we brought in the um, Lunar New Year because we are in um, what we call February Eve, Lunar New Year Eve today is um, the celebration. And so when you live your life by the moon, like I do, <laughs> then uh, this is a very special day for us because it marks the last kind of quarter of the calendar of winter. And it brings about the um, knowing that spring is upon us. And so, our festival season that we will start with the Lunar New Year tomorrow, the 1st of February, is called Imbolc. And so we are starting the Imbolc celebrations. Tonight is like kind of like our spring eve, like New Year's Eve, but spring eve. And then tomorrow is the full Imbolc celebrations. And then going into the 2nd of um, February. So... So we have like two days of celebrations. Very um, cool. But yeah, so it's for that, in honor of that, and the fact that it's a new moon tomorrow and a super new moon, we painted a tiger with a new moon behind it uh, because the Lunar New Year is celebrated by the Chinese people as well and is a very big holiday um, for them and customary for them as Many people, like, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, you always look up, like, well, what are you? You know, what type of animal are you? So this year, 2022, is the year of the tiger, which is a very good symbol for financial growth and financial wealth and financial abundance in our lives. So it's a great year this year for growing all those things, growing a family, growing your finances, growing your business, growing your wealth, growing your stability, all of that good stuff. So we painted a tiger with a big new moon behind it and some cherry blossom trees because they symbolize growth and fertility and wealth. And so, yeah, it was really fun. And we had a great audience that participated with us and a bunch of them shared their artwork. So we got to see what they had created. And it was just so much fun because each of us just like Tracy and myself on here, we have very different styles and techniques and things that we do in our art. It was just fun to see the interpretation of the design by three different artists. And so one of us did a gold tiger. I did a traditional looking tiger in the orange. And then one of the artists um, actually tore up papers and um, special symbolic um, like verses and stuff. And they decoupaged the tiger and then they painted over that special writing. And so, yeah, so it was just fun. We did very cool. Every time we um, 
we do one of these sessions, we call them art jewels because they are ways for us to connect arts to our souls and just heal our souls and heal our, our hearts. And so it was pretty fun. So yeah, I'm excited so fun. to do those. <laughs> Sounds very fun. So I just worked yeah. at my job this week. I didn't do a whole lot. And I watched people on lives like you all week. But um yeah. but it was yeah. but it was uh my dad was here, so we hung out. Yeah, all I right on so, the weekend. So I worked at the race yeah. track. Then I ended up with a migraine yesterday. I was so sick all oh, day no. yesterday. I spent in bed, just wasted my Sunday and I had so much work to do. I normally oh, don't work no. on Sundays, but because it's the brand new month, I needed, and yeah. I worked on Saturday at the racetrack, I needed to get some paperwork stuff done for the new month. So now I'm going to be doing that tonight and getting ready yeah. and making sure all my ducks are in a row. I'm like, ah, I don't like it when all that right. happens. So <laughs> I, I finished that glitter, so... I can kind of maybe show you the glitteriness of the hats. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, I yeah. love that. Yeah, it just kind of makes it. Little... They're so much yeah. fun. Yeah, they're the glitterific ones. Okay, let's get the wood thing going here. Um, I'm just going to use real small, flat, a flat brush and um, a detail brush. So... First, I'm going to, I decided, I chose this, these two colors. It's like a kind of a peachy pinky color and a turquoise color. Is they're going to be the two gnomes, I think. And then red hearts. What do you guys think? Or should I do pink oh, yeah. hearts and red hearts? Or should I do pink and red hearts? I could do pink and red hearts one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, probably do that. That might be a good idea. All right. So what did they say? I can't see the um, comments again. <laughs> nobody is. Yeah, nobody. Oh, they is didn't say. Decided <gasps> yet? I don't think unless. Nope. Nobody's decided yet. Um. But yeah. So I can do two two different hearts, which I probably will do. We'll decide which two to go on where, and then I'm just gonna do this. Um, coral color and this teal color, I think. Great. So, this is my paint palette. It's all dried up paint. I never clean the thing. It's just an it's just a ceramic plate that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, and it's nice because if if you do wipe it off, it works really good. But if you don't, then no big deal. You just use it, and paint over it. I've been doing some really good things with my extra paint lately. Um, I have been, I'm going to show you guys here. One second, if I can find what I did with it. There they are. There they are. So when I get extra paint, those postcards that you saw, this is what I do. I scrape it off and I put it on my postcards. And then I have all these postcards oh, cool. that the back side is kind of messed up, but I can always take them and make tags out of them and put something on the back of them. Oh, so nice. that's why I do that because it's not like nice that. repurposing. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice thing. So I might use one of those today too um, for the extra little tutorial but we'll get started here i'm gonna just squirt out some paints because we're gonna need those we're gonna need a black we're gonna need a gray i'm gonna wait to do the red and pink out until closer to needing them i think And I forgot to put um to put my um this is gonna be too big, I think I'll use this one. Um <laughs> a heart on one of them. So if you forget a heart, just freehand a heart. That's what I'm gonna do. 
All right, let's do, I don't know which side. Do I want to do the short side? Teal and coral are pretty together. What color are the color choices? Oh, um, we're going to do teal and coral. The, the color choices that would be for the hearts would be either bubblegum pink or country red. Or I have a darker pink. What was that color? I have a carousel pink, so a little bit darker. Ooh, one of those two different pinks. I mean, I can use all of them. Or instead of coral, I could do a purple again. I, I wanted to do something different, though. <laughs> so I think we're going to stick with what I picked out. Okay. But which one should I do? Should I do the small one coral or the big one coral? What do you yeah. think? Um... The big one. The big one? Okay. Yeah. Anybody else have an opinion, big or small? I'm going to wait a couple seconds here. Small one? You think the small one? Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll go with the small one. We won't listen to Tracy. <laughs> Nobody well, likes listening listen to Tracy. To Nobody listens to Tracy. No, nobody <laughs> does. I'll tell you. All right, we're Watch going with kids. the small <laughs> we're going with the small I really love this the gray background on mine it's so subtly nice and of course you know guys not only will I do this but I'll pull out some stencils oh yeah we're pulling out some Gotta stencils today yeah Fancy of course, I forgot, to, I forgot to time-lapse this. I wish I knew how to time-lapse my videos. You have to um, you have to have a second camera or you have to um, use editing software. That's what I do. I have to use editing software. Will you edit I'll my... my <laughs> I'll take my video and then I'll just stick it into my... I use Flamora Go is my editing software. And it, why I do that is because it has like a um, a plug and play, basically. So I can put it in and say how many minutes I want my so video can to you, be, and it'll automatically cut it down for me. So, so can you edit our live videos? Yes, I sure can. But you have to give them to me. <laughs> so I'll have to... I. Um, you can log in. You can log into my stream here and use it. Can't do it, do it, can't you? Oh yeah, yeah. I can. I can log right into that and then download from there. Yeah, because that's what I've been doing is um, downloading from my Streamyard to create my videos that way. Okay. Will you create yeah. me one? <laughs> I will. I was gonna make See, one. Teamwork is a dream work, people. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make one for this anyway. So and was gonna share it with you. So. Awesome. Like we always do whenever we make stuff. We Love it. Share our graphics and share our stuff out to each other. Especially when we're yeah. working together, it makes half the amount of work. Like one of us will totally do I agree with graphics. that hundred percent. Yeah. Like Tracy okay. made the design. I did the um internet the graphics for the um well, I put the tracer onto the templates that we use and then I did the internet advertising design and then Tra and then I posted that one and then Tracy posted a bunch of other ones for us and oh yeah and the sure tracer connected to mine so yeah it's always yeah. so much more fun when you're working with somebody there's a tracer link in our um thing if you guys need the oh. tracer for this I forgot yeah, so they can um, click on the link. The click on the link. It's like a little heart, um, a little heart background that says we'll be on shortly. Okay. Here's the link to the tracer. You can just click oh, on perfect. that link in there. And it brings you right to here. So I just mixed a little tiny, perfect. very little, barely a drop, like barely like the edge edge of my like the little side. 
edge of my brush with the coral to make this other color so that I can do some shading. And that's what I'm doing right now is shading around the gnome. Um, and then we'll add the white lines and um, other light shading later. But this is just to get give you some kind of depth into it. And kind of distinguish between the light and the dark on the sides. Put a little bit on his shoes. All right. So there's the coral. And we'll do the same thing with the teal. So I'm going to do the teal and then I'm going to do that same thing with the black. And I'll show you on my brush when I do it. So we'll put the teal on the hat to get that going so we can see the two colors. Okay, does that look like wood? I think it does. Got the wood frame. Yes, it looks gorgeous. I love oh. your wood. Okay. Very pretty. Very Oops. pretty. Love it. Love the wood. Great idea. <laughs> All right. I already am on wood, so I don't have to do Gross that. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but Jules is on my lap. As you I'm know, snoring. I'm having to sit. I'm so uncomfortable right now. I'm having to sit with my legs up on my like <laughs> bucket underneath my table so that she can sleep on my lap. Oh my God, I swear. It's like this dog. But, um, my cat was in here sleeping, but I think when I shut the door and kick everybody out of my room, she went. So, oh, yeah. Right before yeah. we went I live, I had my child coming and bugging me, and I'm like, that's it. I'm <laughs> making a sign. I'm shoving it on the door. Done. Uh, yeah. No, Jules is snoring now, so now I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, my painting put my dog to sleep, I guess. That's so funny. She's like, oh, I want to listen to you a lot. I'm just going to sit here and snore. Is it cold there in California today? Um, No, actually, we're having a nice sunny day today. It's the first sunny day in a while, so it feels very springish today. It's, I'm quite, um, quite loving the weather because I'm like, oh, it's the perfect in bulk weather. I'm like, yay, it feels like spring. And, of course... Not the second Yesterday of was... February is also Groundhog Day, which is another symbolic spring thing. So, uh, yeah, it's all sorts of really cool. We had warm weather on... reminding us that spring is just around the corner. Yeah, we had warm weather Friday, Saturday, but now we have it's cooling yeah, off. The poor East week. Coast is getting hammered with snow again. Well, they can They're keep having their record low snow. temperatures. Poor iguanas are falling out of the sky. The things we do for our pets. Oh, You're right, right, Brenda. Brenda said the thing we do for our pets. Right, Brenda. I know we do a lot for our pets. Yeah, um, what's the temperature like in? Them. What's the temperature like in Minnesota, Brenda? Is it pretty? <laughs> you ready to come visit me yet? Uh, she's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cold. I'm saying it's cold here. It's only 60. <laughs> Matt, well, I was watching the other day in one of the running up games um, for the <laughs> um, the Super Bowl <laughs> that um, as I came into the living room, I was laughing. I was like, oh, my gosh, is that snow? Because I guess it was snowing in Wisconsin. Um, and I, Wisconsin and Minnesota, I think it was, were playing in the in that semifinal together. Yeah, this like, is well, all at least the it's black two places I... that are very familiar with the cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is all the so... black I use for um for that for that mixing that blending. That's all I use. Hey, beautiful ladies. 
Not bad. Double. Oh, we got double digits. It's not negative double digits. That's nice. Awesome. Oh, yeah. oh I just ah. I gotta erase my brush and redo that because I I just dipped into the coral instead of the 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 teal. Oh no. I know. Hello, Tracy. Wake up. That's no good. No. That's there no good. All right. There we go. So this one is going to have it on this side, I think. A lot. A little bit. So we'll go right here because that's kind of a fold. And right here. And then this is going to go all the way down right here. <laughs> I can't believe you can't hear her. She's so loud. No, I can never hear your kids either when you think that they're being loud. I oh, never yeah. hear them. Oh, gosh. No. They really are, like, loud. <laughs> One just walked through the house slamming every door. Here she comes to slam them again. <laughs> like, every damn door. She just walked through, like, three doors. Slammed him as loud as she could. I'm freaking serious. You man. know, she wants to make sure you remember she's there. <laughs> Us Gemini's need to be seen. Yeah. yeah. She can be all seen, alright. <laughs> <laughs> I like those colors. Oh, like good. I'm glad. You might not like how she's seen. <laughs> it looks very blue. It looks very blue on my screens. Um, oh, it does. Is... Oh, shoot. Look at me. See? I told you. It's so dangerous. <laughs> I just painted what the dog. What did you do? What did you do? I painted the dog. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. <sighs> I um, will post a better Our picture was up like... so you can actually Let's see the see. colors when... I'm done. I'll post a nice picture of it. Okay. So now, oh, I forgot. I always use this one. This is like my favorite color for like skin tone. It is called warm beige and you can just take it and you can lighten it up and do whatever color you want, but it's very, very nice skin tone and it's by deco art. I love most deco art paint. They're my favorite. And I'm going to go to a smaller round brush now for all this little detail work. <laughs> oh, do I want to do... I don't want to do the nose yet. I, I changed my mind. I'm going to do the beard first. I'm still going to use that round brush. But we're going to do the beard first just to get it into the nose area. Because... The nose will co come out from it then. Otherwise, I'll just cover it up again, probably. So we'll get that on next. Tracy's making some cool grass around hers. Yeah, got to get my grass. My gnomes are hiding in the grass behind the picket fence. Behind the picket fence. About to create some Valentine magic and mischief. <laughs> We blame it all on Cupid, but I think the Fae get involved as well. Yeah. Poor Cupid, he's supposed to be an angel. I don't really follow. I don't know how like, Cupid ended up being a naughty guy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't follow my guide for my beard. I just use my brush to make my beard points. Um. It's just more of a guide of where to place your beard. You don't, it's easier to just create a beard. So I'm yeah. just going to go around the nose here, but, and it doesn't look quite right yet. But once I get the nose in, lay on the beard, it'll look good. I'm just stro stroking around. The stuff. Yeah. And we'll put some gray highlights in it, too. You don't have to. You can leave it white if you like. Or you can put 
whatever other color I like too much in it. <laughs> oh, I just put my hand in the paint. Oh, man. Thanks, Brenda. Brenda says it's looking cute. It's looking what? Yay. She says it's looking cute. Oh, good. Yeah. Glad she likes it. Yeah. So Brenda saw my um, porch leaner for the gnomes. The no the gnome we did last oh, yeah. summer. Oh, so Dean. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, last. Yep. Yeah. So she saw my video and wanted the tracers. So I got a hold oh, of yeah. Dee, the artist, and oh, she cool. gave she shared she shared the links for us to. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Her, uh, Brenda and a couple other people were asking about the trees. I'm like, well, it's not mine. <laughs> and I <laughs> and I don't even know what I did with the one that I used, that I did trace it with. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where to get it. So I can't help you, but I can contact the person. Like that. That's funny. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah so sure. did, you, did you get the trace, Brenda? Or um, were you able to figure that out if you did get it or if you're having any trouble with it let me know yeah we'll figure it out we'll, we'll get, get it figured out yeah this one gnome on the one side with the teal he's got a crazy beard going on here oh, he's crazy I'm just going to drag some grays into here a little bit. It just, if you put the highlight of at least gray in here, then it, it kind of makes the <coughs> beard look more like it pops the, the wisps of the beard out a little bit if you do that. Like I said, you don't have to, but it just helps it. You can put black in there too. Helps pop that too. I probably will put a little black in mine. Just along the underneath parts. Just to give it some dimension and lift of the beard. You know, another thing you could do with this design is you could paint the hat and stuff, take a piece of fur, put in there, and oh, then yeah. and do a fur then beard. Paint, yeah, you could, and then you could paint a heart or get a wood heart and put in the middle, um, and then get like a little wooden bead to put in the nose. Maybe I'll do that this week sometime as a craft and use this and do that show you kind of different variations of it that'll be super cute on my page what do you got going on this week tracy um i oh what do i have going on this week hang on <sighs> so oh yes so Thursday, I'll be painting with my Woo Woo sisters again, and we are painting oh. a magical familia. So we'll be painting um, a cat, and then it has like this really like magical like kind of scene that's go going on like inside the cat's belly. It's like just a very cool painting. Like so, one of the ladies who's um, who does this with me, Julie, um, she created the design and it's just such a fun design. I can't wait to paint it. So that's Thursday. So we're going to have like a galaxy kind of scene. And then it has this like mystical, like painting inside of the cat. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but I can see it in my head. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we're doing over at the Woo Woo Sisterhood is we're painting our familias of cats and um and that's on thursday at what time it's i think it's 12 30. 
No, I think it's at two thirty, I believe. Oh. Yeah, Your time. Because right? we have a special class that is happening during the day, um, at the twelve thirty time slots where um we're taking a business course that the business course that you and myself did um last year. Um I'm taking that class again and so is um my shell who's one of the sisters that paints with us and so yeah. yeah so we'll be in class on thursday doing our class work at the 12 30 we'll be in our peer groups doing our stuff so yeah i believe it's at 2 30 oh you'll have to check you'll have to check my page cool. It'll, it, okay. it's all on my yeah. page like my brain yeah. is, i don't know my calendar and when you get the i cleared my table <laughs> Yeah. When you get the tracer, if you're not following one of us, when you you click to get the tracer at the top of where you can print your tracer out, there is links to both the cat's whiskers and to Mountain Grace Art. So you can get to the page and then follow. Um yeah. so yeah. I, I did create that oh, today. Awesome. I know I did I did something. I don't know. It was it was <laughs> quite you did awesome. I've always tried to really create appreciate that. that. You guys. I was having yeah. such trouble with my <laughs> program that we use to create that stuff. And Tracy was like, Oh, I'll do it. It's like super yeah. easy. I remember from last year. Yeah, I'll well, just send you the link. I forgot. And then she had troubles too. Yeah. And I was like, Oh, I'm so I glad forgot. It's not just me. I forgot how I do stuff. <laughs> Oh, Brenda says Tracy too, which I think is you because I don't have grass oh, and yeah. flowers. She says, love the grass and flowers. Oh, and awesome. then, oh, Thank you. the good idea for the, the using the folder, I'm guessing, is what she meant. Um, so, my next ask is the pink, the hearts. Which, which color should we do for? Gonna see if I can set it down here where you can see both. Which color should we do for the the? Let's let's pick the color for the coral first. Either number one pink, number two pink, or red. Ooh, for the heart. So the, for the heart for Ooh, the coral. That's one a hard pink, choice. Yeah, one uh, pink. I think the middle one. I think this the one. one. Personally, yeah. I okay. think the middle yeah. one. Number two. But let's see. Number two. Yep. Yeah, Brenda said number two as well. Okay. okay. So that's going to be that one. So then this this gnome, the teal gnome, only gets a choice of pink, the dark pink, the number one pink, or red. So have, dark pink or red. Two, Tracy. Yes. Do, does my um. Do my flowers look like those hot pokers? I don't know if that's the right name for them, but that's what we used to call them <laughs> when I was little. The they were called hot, hot pokers. Po hot pokers. They yeah. look like... I don't um, know if that's the correct name, though. I don't know but what hot, like hot the, pokers are. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what a hot poker is. Number <laughs> one. So you think we should do both things? So a light pink and a dark pink, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right. I think the blue one should have the dark pink and the, yeah. All right. That's what we're going with, girls. All right. So we'll start with the light pink first. Yeah. It's, and it I'm going to do the hot poker. It had like a fiery red tip. Like, see how I just did that? Like, it had like the fiery red tip and then orange uh, and yellow is how I remember yes. it as a little kid. Okay, oh Brenda, do you know what she's? Do you know what she's talking about with the hot pokers, Brenda? Do you know what she's talking about? And if so, do they look like that? I'm probably That's what we need nonsense. to know. <laughs> I don't know what a hot poker is, but you know, uh, maybe no, no, you no. don't know. I'm gonna look it no, up. No, you don't know, or no, it doesn't look. One. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get some really terrible things. So if you hear me squeal, because I'm writing in my phone, I'm writing in my computer hot pokers. So yeah, hot if pokers. I get <laughs> hot I'm pokers. like scared about well, what I'm gonna get. they look like they look I got like hot pockets. 
the puff to worry about. No, I don't know. Okay, she doesn't know what a hot poker is. Okay, she doesn't know what a hot poker is. Poker flower. Okay, I'm going to type flower. Oh, gosh. Cross fingers, we don't get it. Oh, there they are. Yes, they actually are called red hot pokers. Here. Okay, we need to have a picture of that. Yeah. No, I did them exactly right. I haven't seen them since I was a little girl when I lived in South Africa. And then I... Can you hold, I that, up? My can you hold that up in the screen? Hold it up yeah, in the screen yeah. so we can see what you're talking about. You see it? You see it? You see it? Yeah. They are, they, they're called hot poker. Oh, yeah. Now I see it. The, yeah. Yeah, the, yellow, the yellow on the bottom and the red on the top. Yeah. And like orange yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Those are hot yeah. pokers. So they called they called <laughs> hot pokers or what is their <laughs> how to care for a hot poker plant. <laughs> That's funny. they are a Lila Kanea family. They are also known as torch lilies. Oh, torch lilies. I think I've heard of that before. Yeah, so it's called a red hot poker or torch lily. You see, and they're made up of all these little, <laughs> see those little pe the little pods? Yeah. We would pull them off and we would suck them. They're like honey inside them. <laughs> but like, oh. like, yeah. Well, and we like, had things that dangled come, that were the called honey the suckles. There, the bees would come all up inside them there. Oh. The striking red hot poker plant, Knipophora urvaria, is in the Lilacea family, also known as a hot poker plant or a torch lily. Oh, I could grow them here. They thrive in zones five through nine. They're an upright evergreen perennial. How cool is that? That oh. is cool. <laughs> I like that. That is cool. I, I, so we used to have things called the honeysuckle. Brenda yeah, said she didn't know what they were, but they do look pretty. Oh, and they, they dangled it, off, they dangled off the thing. Oh, and yeah. They look so very they, different. Are the honeysuckles like a lilac -y color too? They're so pretty. Um, they? no, they're, they've got like a, they've got like a red tip. Like, oh. um, oh. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, they weren't, they weren't puffy like that. I had them growing at, in Minnesota. I don't know if we can grow them here. Probably not. Huh. So I'm doing some shading on my heart. Oh, that was a little more gray than I would like. Some shading on my oh, heart oh, of this one, and then I'll go to the next one. Oh, I just painted over his hand. That's okay. We'll <laughs> figure his hand out later. That's okay. I'm putting my beard in now. Finally. Getting some gnome beard. All right. Now we'll go to the other one. This one I have to kind of I guess what to do with this heart up here because I forgot to put it on the tr use it on the tracer. Probably should have painted his shoes in first so that his beard would stand out. I don't have a very steady hand. I always have to think like what is going to end up painted over <laughs> when I try and yeah the next step i know that's I why when i went to go to the hand but it's gotten quite that's why when i went silly. to go do the nose i realized i needed to do the beard first <laughs> it's gotten quite silly here lately yeah so my son got his diploma in the mail. Whoop, whoop. He's hey, actually 2020. Diploma? Yeah. He's actually considered a 2021 graduate because he graduated in December. Yeah. And he was supposed to be a 2022 graduate. So. Oh, wow. Whoop, oh, whoop wow. on Cody. 
Way to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. So I'm so happy about that. I would be too. Yeah, you got a ways to go. <laughs> yeah, I got a long way to go. Yeah. yeah. So, so on one of my things, I had decorated the hats. And I think I'm going to put polka dots on this other one over here. With the pink. <laughs> All right. There's one beard down. What do you one think? Polka dots. Oh. So I've Probably. got about 12 more minutes. So I'm going to try and <laughs> try and speed. Uh, let's see what happens. I doubt it. I doubt that I'll get this finished in 12 minutes. Yeah. I am not a speed painter. I am slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Too much of a perfectionist to be a speed painter. Yeah. But if Tracy's still on here doing her crafty stuff, then yeah. I can come back and finish painting with you. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'll yeah, stay on. And You're doing a card and some other things still, right? Yeah, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show a little bit more on some of the things you can do on here before I leave. So yeah, you might what time I might you, will you be off? Um I can stay another hour. Okay. What time will you be back? Um it all just depends on how ready my kiddos are when I get there, but um yeah, I normally, I get the one at like 2.20 and the other one at like, well, 2.15 and then the other one at 2.25 and then I head back home directly. So probably be here, I would say... 2.45 is probably the earliest that I would be back. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll so see you might where... still be painting. If you're not, uh, that's fine. I yeah, will come I'm on and um, post my painting afterwards. So yeah. You guys will get to see the finished product. I won't leave yes. you in the dark. I won't leave you in the dark. I will have the finished product. This has been a really cute design. I've enjoyed this. Yeah, this is cool. All right. All right. So, I think I'm pretty much done with the gnome part now. Oh, I was going to do some little bits of. How's that look? Do they look hairy? Oh, they look like hairy gnomes. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> I like them. They look good. Them says hairy gnomes. <laughs> they look good. Looking good. All right, I'm just getting my highlights in here. Goodness, goodness. my hands really are super silly shaky. Silly shaky, huh? All yeah, right. It's like, yeah, it's like, makes it light. Difficult to get these sharp edges. So, the fine, fine painting I used to paint, my lordy. <laughs> I'd be so mad trying to get all the fine details. Ah, my hair is in my painting. 
So I got my new stencil of the month things. Oh yeah. And I have these cool little stencils. I'm talking about stencil. Thank you for my gift in the mail. Oh yeah. You. Yeah, I wonder if yeah. Brenda's not on here. Wonder, I wonder if she got hers. Um so I got my snail meals. <laughs> Yay. So I like this little one here with the little hearts that go across. I think I'm going to do that at the top. That one. I'm waiting still for my big or spring order of essential stencils I got. Got a big spring one. What's the other one? All right. So, gosh, I have so many things to choose from this time around. <laughs> so many. Oh, I could do that too. That would be cute. All right. So we're going to dress this up a little bit here. If I can find out how to open it. Where is my open? There it is. So let's see. We're going to put those little parts across and I think or I can do what did you do I picked up um brown paints instead of black paints on my brush oh and I was like no oh that's too big that's because I big. ended up getting black in his beard where I was trying to cover up the fact that I'd gotten black in his beard and I was fixing it and then I mean not black in his beard I got brown in his beard from his shoes and I was fixing yeah. it and then I went and picked up a blotch of brown paint and just like solidified the fact that I got black in there. I was like, no. Yeah. That wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. I'm like, no, no, no. That was not the point at all. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to put this down here. There. That's now, too big. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be a smaller arrow, but there's not. Bummer. All right. So let's stick with my first. Oh, this one is. This one's small. Oh, I can do that. Okay. So I think I'm going to put a, an arrow going through this guy. So let's see if I can do this. <laughs> let's see if I can. I've got way no more room here. <laughs> what am I doing here? All right. I overtook my space with all these paints. <laughs> okay. Moving my paints. Moving my paints. It's all about the paint, about the paint. Okay. <laughs> Take a sip. Get a stencil brush. All right. Oh, and you guys, um, next week I'm going to show you the transfer. Well, I won't be able to show you before and afters because... I am dumb enough not to take the before pictures of my art studios, but I am hoping that by next weekend, I will have both. So this one's almost done in here, and then I'll, I'm hoping to have both my, um, my art spaces completed on... What I'm doing here. Okay. 
Oh, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Okay, All right, here we what go. time is it? Three minutes to go. Man, I've, I've actually accomplished quite a bit with just yeah, three you minutes did. to go. You did. Well, it's an easy <laughs> painting once you get going. Okay, I'm going to tape off these little spots on the heart because I don't want that. I just want... I mean, I could have free-handed an arrow. Honestly, I could have. But there's an arrow. There's an arrow here, and I might as well stencil it, right? That's what I think. That's what I think. line in there but we're gonna have the arrow well here let's go out a little bit just a titch wait where's the arrow line there we go We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I just have to tape off the spot where the heart is again. And <laughs> yeah, my nose is done. And I never dipped back in the paint, guys, this whole time that I did this. By the way. There, that's cute, huh? I like uh -huh. it. All right, so we did that. I can put kisses up here. Should I just put kisses? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cute. Ah. I want to. I'm gonna make the heart of the kisses though in a different color. So we'll tape that off. And I still have not put my brush back in paint, by the way. That's how that works. Swish, swish, swish. Ah, All right. There's the noses. There's the noses. Very cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, where's my paint? Oh, there. And we'll dip into that hot pink. I'm just going to use a regular paintbrush. Um, I still want to dry brush it off a little bit. And then we'll just kind of dab it. This one's the dab. You got the swish, and then you have the dab. <laughs> this is the dab. All right. Okay. I am going to get my there book out of here. What do you think? My gnome's hands are in. Noses are in. And I think we'll paint... We'll paint that arrow part we'll paint that in and we'll come back for the rest give this a chance to dry I'll come back in to do the hearts and the hats because that's all that's left hearts and hats hearts and hats yeah. what do you think of my arrow and Stenciling here. Can Man. you hear me, Tracy? Oh, I oh, forgot my I hands. Like that. that is so cute. I love the I... arrow through his head. <laughs> yeah. That's I forgot. Uh oh, oh, it's bleeding because I had too much water. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Shoot. Shoot. All right. There's my gnomes. There's my gnomers. I forgot to paint my. That's Hands. as far as I got. It's cute, though. You did good. <laughs> Hold on. I'll pull my thing up. Do you have time? I'm take a, hang on. I'm going to take a picture. Wait. Before you do anything. Ah! No! Bloody hell. Hang on. Don't do nothing. <laughs> okay. Ah! You put your, hang on. Let me get the picture. 
All Sorry. Right. Now you can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Did you get now it? You can do whatever you want. Okay. I was gonna pull up. Hold on. Oh. oh. Switch. <laughs> you be upside down. <laughs> I'm. I think I'm gonna have to go out with you. I'm. I'm down to no percent, and I don't have a plug oh, spot. No. Yeah, you will have to leave with me. Oh well, you'll have to switch me to, to the other camera. You, but we could, if we get time later, maybe we can pop on back on if, when Tracy gets home, we'll see what what's going on. We can always do a quick short live. I can't hear you all of a sudden, Tracy. Oh, oh, I know what you're saying. I gotcha, I gotcha. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot you, you don't rotate around. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? I forgot you don't rotate. I forgot I you, you don't rotate. Switch me. <laughs> I know. I'm yeah. like, what's you waiting around for? I was okay. waiting. <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> So if you um, get home, just give me a call and maybe we can pop on. Yeah. Yeah. And if okay. not, I we'll will see how definitely um, record what I'm doing and then yeah. um, I will do a time lapse. <laughs> Sounds good. So, yeah. All right. I'll try to get back to those crafts later. Um, if we don't pop on later, maybe I'll pop on. Um, on the Mountain Grace Arts page, you can check me out maybe, and yeah. I'll do some more of this for you. Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be really fun. So, yeah, if you do pop on Mountain Grace Arts, I'll just share it across to my Cat's Whiskers people. And then that way yeah. you can get to see the crafts. And if you wanted to do some of the crafts that Tracy shows, then you can do them too. So, yeah. 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 We're always mixing yeah. and matching everything you get to see at all. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I will yep. finish painting this cute little set yeah i'm really loving these guys they're adorable so yeah thank yeah, you and I'll post design, Tracy. thank you thank you yeah i'll post all my pictures of everything i've completed too in our group so yeah we always do yeah. we always post them in our own pages and then we also post them in the doing tracy's here yeah. so the only place you don't get to see them is if you're watching on our youtube channel sorry guys He'll have to come over to Facebook and come check us out or follow us on Instagram. Yes. On Instagram, we often yes. have our stuff there too. So And TikTok. And We're TikTok. getting into the TikTok. And, so, pin yeah, and Pinterest. TikTok. I have stuff on Pinterest too. Yeah. Yeah, I have stuff on Pinterest too. So, yeah. So, we're all we'll post our. We need to post our link trees. We do. We do. We need yeah. to do that. So, yeah. But our okay. main pages are our business pages on Facebook. So, and then I have my website that I've been working on that I'm so proud of. So, yeah. I'm like, yay. Yeah. Fun. Yay. <laughs> All so right. Thank you, everybody, oh. for watching today. I will be saying goodbye. Tracy here from the Cat's Whiskers Art Studio, bringing a little magic and woohoo into your everyday life and healing through art one brush stroke at a time. Hi from Tracy from Mountain Grace Arts. Just bringing joy through painting and stenciling, and I got that all messed up. Bringing joy, <laughs> stenciling, painting, and crafting. So come on over to Walt Grace Arts when you want a little fun. Yes. She is the stenciling queen, so you definitely I want to know anything about stenciling. I always so try to put a stencil on something, yeah. no matter what it is. <laughs> so much All fun right. thank you guys and we will see you the whole month of february is my celebration of 21 years in the united states as oh yeah united yeah that's right as a I, we've got some stuff a resident of the united states from my birth country of africa i am a proud u.s citizen here now um for the last 21 years and so in honor of that, um, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of African art for this next month of February. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. All righty. See you All later. Right. We'll see you Bye. later. Bye.